Welcome back. Super excited. Moving forward in this brief lecture, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to convert your Java code that we have in our main activity.java into Kotlin. So in our previous lesson, we just talked about the Android activity lifecycle. And then I demonstrated how to use the log cat to in fact take a look at the various stages of these methods. So here, in order to configure Kotlin, if you haven't already, we just need to simply go to Tools, Kotlin, and then Configure Kotlin in Project. So once that is configured, I'm going to go ahead and, in fact, select the entire Java code. Let me do it this way. It's easier that way. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my main activity, which is, of course, a Java class. I'm going to go ahead and create a new. So I'm going to right click on the package here. And then here, once I right click, I'll be given a choice whether to insert or create a new class in Kotlin or Java. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new. And here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Kotlin file or class. I'm going to give it a name, say activity Kotlin example, Kotlin. Click OK. And this is going to go ahead and create a blank Kotlin activity. So of course, once I have that created, then I can easily copy the code here and then paste it to you, which is about Twitter. As I mentioned this, that you know, once you have both languages created, you can interchange between both. Okay. So if you're a Java programmer or if you like Java better, you can do the entire Android development in Java. Otherwise, you can always try the Kotlin method. So of course, here's the activity Kotlin class. So once I have it, I'm just going to go ahead and paste my Java code, which is from main activity. So all you have to do is copy it, right? And then as soon as you paste it, a dialog box will appear. It's going to say convert code from Java. I'm going to say yes. And this is going to go ahead and, in fact, convert the same code to Kotlin language. These messages here, of course, if you need to upgrade or make some updates, you may go ahead. So now, all it's going to do is just simply copy and paste and it asks if you want to convert to Java code, it's going to do it for you. And once, of course, you have it in Kotlin, you can further customize it and build additional classes or methods or functions or whatever it is that you intend to do. Perfect. So once it converts it, let me scroll up so you can actually see. Notice at this time, we have the entire same package name, same import. Of course, the syntax is a bit different. So in this instance, it's class main activity and then app compat activity. Whereas in Java, you have the public class main activity that extends app compat activity. So, of course, just a subtle difference between the two. The rest of the code is pretty, fairly similar. Okay. The main advantage of using Kotlin over Java, uh, over time, you'll find that it's what I've experienced in, in my coding is that it's uh, lesser, fewer lines of code. So that's what, you know, I found Kotlin very easy to use. In other words, it's more robust and compact. If you're, you know, having a writing code in Java for, let's say, 100 lines of code in Kotlin, that may reduce to about 60 or 70, okay? So it depends. But that's what I've experienced working with Kotlin. So that way, you can easily convert the code in Kotlin. Once it's converted, of course, you can run the app. Let me assign that homework for you. Go ahead, it's the same example that we did in the previous lecture, right? So likewise, go ahead, try it out, and post the results in the discussion area. So I hope this helps. Practice with this. Let's move to the next lesson. And the reason why you see the red squiggly lines here is because you have the same class, right? You have the same main activity. And then of course in Kotlin, you're also using the same main activity. So if you were to change the name to a different uh, class here, for example, I can say activity Kotlin, right? Because that's the one that I'm using. So now you're using the 
can be cut this, and the error will go away from the main Java code. Okay, and the the green arrow here kind of tells you that the analysis is completed and there's no errors found at the moment. Perfect. Similarly, you can kind of take a look at and compare the codes both. The yellow square box that you see is that it may give you some warnings or some weak errors. In other words, you can still run the code, but it gives you some warnings and some weak errors as well. For example, here it says that the activity activity lifecycle activecotlin, which is the created Kotlin class, is not registered in manifest. Okay. So if I were to go to manifest and open up a manifest file, so notice at this point it only has the dot name. So if I add a Kotlin activity, I could. So if I were to just copy it, for example, and paste it and give it a name, and this is going to remove that particular error for you. And of course, I just need to make sure that I have it in the right place over here. Create this one activity, and of course, close the required tags as well. So I just need to copy this and then paste it here. So that way, now my Android manifest file kind of shows me that, or I've specified the activity copy here as well. If I navigate back, to Kotlin, it kind of removes that error and places a green checkbox. It says no error found. And the reason why it says Kotlin not configure, I can configure it, which means that all new activities will now be configured with Kotlin Langford as well. So, perfect. Just wanted to highlight how easy it is to switch from Java to Kotlin. So, practice with this. If you have any questions, please post them in the discussion area. I'll be glad to help with this. Let's move to the next lesson.